Glory, glory, glory to God. Good morning. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Good morning. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Good morning. This is Lashana Janine Hearn, A Year in the Bible, where we are getting through the entire Bible in one year. Amen. We are in 1 Samuel chapter 11 and 12 this morning. And Luke 18 verses 1 through 30. Amen. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. I hope you're praising God this morning. It never gets old to just praise the Lord God. It's actually brand new every morning that we do it. Brand new mercy, brand new grace. Amen. All right, well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, creator of heaven and earth, we just come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify you and we thank you, Lord God, for moving in ways that are impossible to man. But all things are possible with you, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you're moving on our behalf every single day, every single hour. And that you're holding on to us and never letting us go. We just glorify you and we thank you that you are continually healing every day. That you're healing, that you're providing, that you're protecting. You're instructing and guiding and directing, Lord God. And we just give you all glory and all praise and honor. Because you do not let us do this life alone, Lord God. That you are with us every single step. And the more steps we take towards you, Lord God, you take a thousand more towards us. And we just glorify you and we thank you, Lord God, for this brand new mercy, brand new grace, brand new day. That you have waken us up, given us another chance, another opportunity to get our relationship right with you, Lord God. And we just thank you and glorify you. And we pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the spirit of Jesus Yahweh. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. Good morning. So this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. Uh, know that I read from the King James Version, so if you are reading from a different version, that is okay. Just know that the wordings will be different. And I hope that you are sharing and, and inviting others to, excuse me, to come on every morning. So we are in 1 Samuel. First Samuel 11, chapter 11, all right, first Samuel 11, then Nahash the Ammonite came up and encamped against Jabesh Gil Gilead. And all the men of Jabesh said unto Nahash, Make a covenant with us, and we will serve thee. And Nahash the Ammonite answered them, On this condition will I make a covenant with you, that I may thrust out all your right eyes, and lay it for a reproach upon all Israel. And the elders of Jabesh said unto him, Give us seven days respite, that we may send messengers unto all the coasts of Israel. 
And then, if there be no man to save us, we will come out to thee. Then came the messengers to Gibeah of Saul, and told the tidings in the ears of the people. And all the people lifted up their voices and wept. And behold, Saul came after the herd out of the field, and Saul said, What aileth the people that they weep? And they told him the tidings of the men of Jabesh. And the Spirit of God came upon Saul when he heard those tidings, and his anger was kindled greatly. And he took a yoke of oxen and hewed them in pieces and sent them throughout all the coast of Israel by the hands of messengers, saying, Whosoever cometh not forth after Saul and after Samuel, so shall it be done unto his oxen. And the fear of the Lord fell on the people, and they came out with one consent. And when he numbered them in Bezek, the children of Israel were 300,000, and the men of Judah 30,000. And they said unto the messengers that came, Thus shall ye say unto the men of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow, by that time the sun be hot, ye shall have help. And the messengers came and showed it to the men of Jabesh, and they were glad. Therefore the men of Jabesh said, Tomorrow we will come out unto you, and ye shall do with us all that seemeth good excuse me, unto you. And it was so on the morrow that Saul put the people in three companies, and they came into the midst of the host in the morning watch, and slew the Ammonites until the heat of the day. And it came to pass that they which remained were scattered, so that two of them were not left together. And the people said unto Samuel, Who is he that said, Shall Saul reign over us? Bring the men that we may put them to death. And Saul said, There shall not a man be put to death this day, for today the Lord hath wrought salvation in Israel. Then says Samuel to the people, Come and let us go to Gilgal, and renew the kingdom there. And all the people went to Gilgal, and there they made Saul king before the Lord of Gilgal. And there they sacrificed sacrifices of peace offering before the Lord. And there Saul and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly. So if you're just coming on, good morning. This is A Year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. We just read 1 Samuel 11, and now we'll read chapter 12. All right, 1 Samuel chapter 12. And Samuel said unto all Israel, Behold, I have hearkened unto your voice in all that ye said unto me, and have made a king over you. And now behold, the king walketh before you, and I am old and gray-headed. And behold, my sons are with you, and I have walked before you from my childhood until this day. Behold, here I am, witness against me before the Lord and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose ass have I taken? Or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed? Or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind my eyes therewith? And I will restore it to you. And they said, Thou hast not defrauded us, nor oppressed us. Neither hast thou taken aught of any man's hand. And he said unto them, The Lord is witness against you, and is anointed, and his anointed is witness this day, that ye have not found aught in my hand. And they answered, He is witness. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron, and that brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. Now therefore stand still that I may reason with you before the Lord of all the righteous acts of the Lord. Excuse me. Which he did 
to you and to your fathers. When Jacob was come into Egypt, and your fathers cried unto the Lord, then the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, which brought forth your fathers out of Egypt, and made them dwell in this place. And when they forgot the Lord their God, he sold them into the hand of Sesra, captain of the host of Hazar, and into the hand of the Philistines, and into the hand of the king of Moab. And they fought against them. And they cried unto the Lord and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken the Lord and have served Baalim and Ashtaroth. But now deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, and we will serve thee. And the Lord sent Jerubbabel, and, and Bedin, and Jephthah, and Samuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your em enemies on every side. And ye dwelled safe. And when ye saw that Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, came against you, ye said unto me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us when the Lord your God was your king. Now therefore behold the king whom ye have chosen, and whom ye have desired. And behold, the Lord has set a king over you. If ye will fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice, and not rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue following the Lord your God. But if ye will not obey the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall the hand of the Lord be against you as it was against your fathers. Now therefore stand and see this great thing, which the Lord will do before your eyes. Is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto the Lord, and he shall send thunder and rain, that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of the Lord, in asking you a king. So Samuel called unto the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. And all the people said unto Samuel, Pray for thy servants unto the Lord thy God, that we die not. For we have added unto all our sins this evil to ask us a king. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord. But serve the Lord with all your heart. And turn ye not aside, for then should ye go after vain things, which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. But I will teach you the good and the right way. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. But if, she, if ye shall still do wickedly, ye shall be consumed, both ye and your king. Amen. So if you're just coming on, this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. We just read 1 Samuel 11, chapter 11 and 12. So we'll move on to Luke 18, verses 1 through 30. Luke 18, verses 1 through 30. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Saying, There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. 
and he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. And he spake this parable unto certain, which trusted in themselves, that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. For of, su for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one that is God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake who shall not receive manifold more in this present time, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. I am marking Amen. So this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. 
We just read 1 Samuel chapter 11 and 12, and then Luke 18 verses 1 through 30. So these last few uh, readings that we've been reading have been really putting us in a place um, to where we need to analyze ourselves and um, giving us a chance and an opportunity to make sure that our relationship with the Lord is in a right standing, that we are walking according to his will, his plan, his purpose for our life. So it's a test of faith. And as long as you stay in the word, as long as you stay in the word and you continue to pray and you continue to praise, you are in the right path. You are doing what God would want you to do. And then he'll come with any other instructions, any other directions. He will order your steps. He will guide you and direct you in the day for you to conquer today. While he goes into tomorrow and set it up, he'll give us what we need to conquer and be victorious in this day. So... This is good. This is good. And so I pray that you are inviting others um, that you love to come on every morning. Share the videos. Share the video and invite all the all that you know um, to come on every morning and read the words of God. And then go back and study, study some more, be in his presence all day and you know, you know that you need to stay in his presence all day and just continue to invite others. So, good morning. I love you all and I'm praying for you. And you all have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose. And I'll see you 530 in the morning.